Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the next phase of karyokinesis, which is anaphase. First, we have talked about prophase, where we have seen that the chromosome network, which was initially present in the cell, it condenses, it becomes short, thick and becomes thread-like structure and attains proper chromosome-like structure. After that, we have talked about the metaphase where we have seen that the chromosomes align themselves at the equatorial positions and they are attached by the microtubules from which are coming from the asters present at the opposite poles of the cell. Now, the third phase is known as the anaphase. Let us now find what are the different activities a cell is performing during this phase called anaphase. During anaphase, anaphase is basically the shortest phase. It takes about 2 to 3 minutes of the whole cell cycle. During this phase of anaphase, the chromosomes splits and each sister chromatids, they have their own centromere. Now here, this chromosome as we can see, they have split it into the sister chromatids. Initially, there was a single centromere. Now, after the splitting, it, this one has got its own centromere and this one have got its own centromere. So, each of the, centro, uh, each of the sister chromatids have their presence of own centromere. So, it has got split in. Now, the formation of daughter chromosomes take place because initially this was the duplicated or the replicated chromosomes. Now, it has split into two halves and it has become the daughter chromosomes during this anaphase. This splitting happens because of the fact that the microtubules coming from the asters, they start depolymerizing and it starts pulling these type of chromosomes towards the poles. Because of this, the centromeres get split into halves. The intrazonal fibers are formed between the centromeres of the daughter chromosomes. The daughter chromosomes which are formed, they start moving towards the poles as we have just discussed. And it starts moving towards the poles because of the fact that the microtubules coming from these asters, they start depolymerizing. In fact, they start shortening their length. Because of this, they start moving towards the opposite poles. The nuclear matter gets equally divided into two equal halves. So, because one of the half will go to one daughter cell and the other half will be passed on to a second daughter cell. So, in this video, we have talked about the anaphase of the karyokinesis where we have seen that the chromosomes split into sister chromatids and the centromeres get splitted. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.